Hi everyone, hope you're having a good day and today I want to talk about um, a question that came up a couple of months ago um, from a student who wanted to create uh, voted arches, basically um, arches that look something like this and you see those in um, very classical buildings or you know gothic architecture usually and uh, the way you create those essentially is uh, by starting with a cylinder and then you would then duplicate that cylinder and by duplicating it and rotating it 90 degrees you then get these um, curves on the arches and so then what you need to do with those with those two cylinders is to sort of intersect them and maybe um, extract one from the other and once you've extracted one from the other you just simply copy and paste it and then rotate it again by 90 degrees and then connect those two arches and that will give you essentially what this is and uh, so let's see how we can do this practically in Cinema 4D so I am here now in Cinema 4D and I'm just gonna create a cylinder just like this Right, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. I'm going to change its orientation from X from Y to X. So now that I've got my cylinder, I then need to uh, look at how how many edges and cuts it has, and it's got way too many cuts. So I'm going to be to delete the circular cuts. So I'm going to take take it down from four to one so then i just i'm just left with a horizontal um edges on this cylinder so once i've done this like i said in the explanation i'll just need to then copy and paste it and duplicate the cylinder so let's duplicate this one i'm going to create a copy of it and i'm going to rotate this one by 90 degrees there you go and now you can see I'm starting to get those curves that I need to extract. So now, how do I extract this, these curves from those cylinders? So I need to create a, a Boolean object. I'm going to go to my Bool object and I'm going to copy, I'm going to drag and drop my two, my two cylinders into my Bool object, just like that. And so now you can see that I am left with these two curves. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to, I'm going to um, disable my ball and I'm going to go to my uh, cylinder because what I want to get is just half of this cylinder, not the whole thing. So I'm going to go to my cylinder and I'm going to um, convert it down into an object. I'm going to hide this one. I'm converting this one to an object and I'm going to go to my selection tools. I want to go to my front view and I'm going to just simply delete those two, those bottom three points. So I'm just left with my cylinder, half a cylinder basically. And so I'm going to delete that one. And I'm going to copy and paste that, just my cylinder. I'm going to move it into my ball object and I'm going to enable it. So here's my ball object with my the curves that I want to extract from my cylinder. So once I've got my ball object, uh, all I need to do now is convert my ball down to an object. So I'm going to go, I'm going to press C on my keyboard to convert it down. And now I have my ball object and my two cylinders. I'm going to select those two cylinders, right click on them, and then go to connect object and delete. And now I have one object, which is just my cylinder, but it does have my curves, which are those curves that I need to extract from my cylinders. So now that I've got my curves, I just need to go to my uh, polygon selection. I'm going to select the polygons that I don't need which are the ones in the middle. So now I am left with a hole in the middle 
And so if I now go to my cylinder, copy and paste it, and then rotate this copy 90 degrees. Just like that. You can now see that I'm left with this number five down here, which is a copy of this. So now all I need to do is, cut, is um, connect these two objects by right clicking on them and going to connect object and delete. And now as you can see, I have my vaulted ceiling. And so now what I can do is in, go into my um, polygon selection mode and select the end of my cylinders like this and I can just delete them to create my vaulted arches. So here's my vaulted arch and then now I can just simply go into my point mode and I can just select the points that I need to move downwards to create my arch. So I've got my point selected, I can just move them down. If I go to uh, uncheck this box, select all the points. So I'm only going to select the points on the outskirt, on the edges of my arch, and I'm just going to simply move it down to create my vaulted arch. And so now what I can do also is I can just create some thickness to this by selecting all my faces and then extruding them, creating caps and extruding them inwards or outwards to create my vaulted arch. So here's how you create a vaulted arch in Cinema 4D. This is a very simplistic explanation, but you can add more vertices, you can add more uh, edges to create more smoothness to your arch. You can adjust the 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 lines on the side is a little bit more, a little bit angled, but you can just make them straight if you wanted to. And so yeah, so this is how uh, to create vaulted arches in Cinema 4D. I hope this has been helpful to you, and I will see you in the next video.